What is a monopoly? A monopoly is an exclusive good or service that without government intervention allows you to set your own price. Background on John D. Rockefeller. He was born July 8th, 1839 in Richmond, New York. He built his first oil refinery near Cleveland in 1870 incorporated the Standard Oil Company. By 1882, he already had a near monopoly of the oil business, but his business practices led to the passing of the antitrust laws. Late in life, Rockefeller devoted himself to philanthropy, and he died in 1937. What did Rockefeller dedicate his life in his early days? At the age of 16, he found a job as an assistant bookkeeper with Hewitt and Turtle, commission merchants, by the age of 20 with a business partner. He, they decided to start working as commission merchants in hay, meats, and grains, and other goods. By the end of the first year, they had gross income of $450,000. Then Rockefeller thought it would be a smart business move to invest in an oil refinery, and the rest is history. How did John D. Rockefeller see an opportunity in the energy field? After the American Civil War, the petroleum industry made continual technological advances that allowed it to emerge as society's major source of energy. The immense potential of petroleum resources and applications became ever more apparent and attractive to John D. Rockefeller. Working with the South Improvement Company for much of the late 1860s, Rockefeller laid the groundwork for his efforts to gain absolute control of industry, covering each phase of the process. Very well put, Alejandro. Well, why John D. Rockefeller started the Standard Oil Company was because in, 19, in 1863, the new, a new rail line linked Cleveland with the rest of the oil regions. He bought the Cleveland. He bought a refinery in Cleveland with several other partners, and they began work. They got drills for less than one thousand dollars, and everything was very cheap to obtain in order for them to grow at the time where they jumped into it. Now the Standard Oil Company slowly but surely went on to become a monster, and. Uh, become a monopoly once they started buying out their smaller competitors. John D. Rockefeller started concentrating his market shares by making secret deals with railroad companies in order for his competitors to not be able to uh, distribute or sell their products as, as easily because they couldn't afford it. John D. Rockefeller started eliminating a lot of his competition by doing things like predatory pricing, buying out all the barrels that, so the other companies couldn't get their hands on any, uh, developing his own uh, marketing and distribution systems um, so he had an upper hand on everybody else. John D. Rockefeller was also known to have used some illegal techniques such as fraud, political cor corruption, and even physical abuse to scare off uh, the other competition. So that was frowned upon a lot by the critics. Well, let me pass it on to Sharma so she could let you guys know a little bit more about how John and his partners did what they did. Well, Gabe, Rockefeller and his son, they tried to consolidate their oil interests as much as they could until 1909, when the New Jersey incorporation laws changed in order to allow a recreation in trust in the form of a single holding. So in 1911, uh, the Standard Oil of New Jersey was found in violation of the Sherman Antitrust Law, which basically they went to the U.S. Supreme Court and Standard Oil Company had to basically turn into 34 different companies as far as Exxon, Mobil, etc. So that basically made Rockefeller an even richer man by $900 million because he owned 25% share of each company. So when he died, he died a very wealthy man.